Hi there. My name is John Levensold, and today what I'm going to be doing is building a really simple WordPress theme with you from scratch. And we're going to go through some of the different pages and template files that are necessary for WordPress. Personally, my own in my own work, I've managed to use this technique to create several sites very, very quickly. Uh, here are some examples. This is one that I did for a conference. This is another one that I did with a designer. So we have navigation on the right. It's actually a bilingual website. And here's another one that I did in just about a day. Very simple. We've got navigation on the left. So what we're going to be doing is just going through the steps that are necessary in PHP to do this. The tools that we're going to be using are, of course, WordPress, uh, which is free. In fact, everything that we're going to be using to get this job done is free and is cross-platform. So we're going to be using WordPress. We're going to be using a tool called MAMP. MAMP is a collection of tools for having a local web server. It stands for Mac, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. There are, of course, equivalents on Linux, just Google search LAMP, and also on Windows. You can search for WAMP. And all of these collections or this stack of technologies is all free, so you can just download it and run it on whichever operating system you're currently working on. The other tool that I'm going to be using is called Text Wrangler. And Text Wrangler is also free. It's a very, very feature-rich text editor. And it's the baby brother to another tool called VBEdit, which is great if you're doing a lot of development and you just want a very powerful, very simple text editor. Again, you could use anything else. You could even use Notepad on Windows if you wanted to. And by the end of this tutorial set, what you should end up with is something like this. It's a very simple theme. We're also going to do a sidebar, which isn't in here right now. And you're going to be able to essentially create different template postings or different templates for different parts of the WordPress theme, which is how all of the other sites that I've done work. So by the end of this series, you should be comfortable enough to build your own template by yourself. We're going to be using a bit of PHP, but you really don't need to be a PHP coder to follow along just have a wonderful interest in web design and web development. If you know HTML and CSS, it'll probably help, but again, it's not a requirement. That's about it, so let's get started. 